people are saying is it right or wrong getting beaten up is wrong or right it is wrong it is a criminal offense i think that should settle it i honestly don't know how to start this video here we have a very sensitive case and i didn't want to make a video on this because often videos about such topics gets a very hateful audience into my channel now I have a really small audience despite having 60,000 subscribers and it's mostly sensible people because I'm not an entertainer. I make motorcycle reviews, tech reviews and a few vlogs once in a while. And I'm kind of happy that I no longer have the hateful audience in my channel. But I'm still making this video because I've been getting a lot of comments and my subscribers have been asking me to respond, give my take on this situation now all of you must have seen all the viral videos going around so you may know what it is if you still don't know a certain motorcycle vlogger called sort of left some mean comments on another person's motorcycle in the recent ibw now if you're new to my channel and if you cannot stand the way i'm speaking you're free to leave like i said i don't care about the views this is not about views sort of left some mean comments on another bike on his instagram story so this was like a public post uh, he did say that he was sorry about it and he apologized and he deleted the comments but this video has really two parts first of all we have to understand why he did it what is this hate culture that is going on in india about everything uh, why do we have stars like dhin chak puja I don't remember this happening five years ago, ten years ago. What is really wrong with us? This thing of making fun of others, degrading others and all that on social media for fun to to appear cool to your subscribers or to go out to a hateful audience which will again make fun and make it viral. This meme culture, it is, it is just plain disrespectful and people are doing it because this is an easy and cheap way to get popular now i'm not saying sort of did it for that reason but i'm saying that a lot of people started this culture because of that reason and now more and more people are falling prey to it because we often find these disgusting things to be funny and we share them on social media i make a responsible video about some product or some motorcycle it's not gonna get views because nobody wants to be sharing all that because you don't look cool sharing a tech review but you do look cool in front of your friends by sharing a meme so this is wrong but it is still happening and i think more than him saying sorry i think we should address the main core issue which is these mean comments which a lot of people leave it's not him a lot of other people left these comments on their stories and he is not to be isolated they didn't get beaten up because they were not famous they didn't have uh, probably 20,000 followers or something I follow sort of I didn't see the story because I probably wasn't online that day but I do follow him and I do talk to him a lot I don't think he meant something bad about it but it is true that this culture is prevalent in our country and this is going to make things worse now moving on to the second part of the video he got beaten up for leaving those comments the first thing is that beating up people are saying is it right or wrong i think there is no debate about it because we live in a country which has certain laws a penal code which clearly prohibits such actions and it is a crime so obviously it is wrong i think that should settle it we should not have any more debate that whether this thing whether getting up getting beaten up is wrong or right it is wrong it is a criminal offense ibw banned these bikers i think that's a farce because these bikers should have been prosecuted not as bikers just as people who beat up another peep another person i don't know why nobody intervened and tried to stop it i don't know why ibw doesn't have security on such an event such a large scale event which makes uh, such a huge impact on to the indian motorcycle culture you are just uh, 
I think the bikers who beat up also uh, did the IBW name wrong but IBW is already infamous for a lot of other incidents which I wouldn't like to talk about here but the main thing is that bikers go out there to have fun and you cannot have fun if you're not in a secure environment if you can spend so much onto an event in promotions and everything I don't say it's bad but I think you should also have your budget for security you should have a lot of security personnel there are foreign individuals there are a lot of women out there I can understand that sort of said in his video that IBW security and officials could not reach that spot which was inside that venue for 30 minutes if a woman was being molested inside the campus somewhere would it have been the same thing I'm not saying that that's gonna happen but I have to say that this security thing is a responsibility of the event management and then when they finally do reach uh, the events all over the drama is all over he's already gotten beaten up and then these guys decide to ban the bikers I don't understand how banning helps I don't understand that if somebody can explain in the comments I'd be very ha happy I think these guys needed to be prosecuted their bikes could have been seized I don't know because IBW is not a police authority they don't have exact authority over anything but this is a law enforcement matter beating up a guy is a serious offense ganging up on a guy by so many people and beating him up is a serious offense it is a bigger offense than internet bullying which I, I do agree that sort of is is uh, guilty of and you know these guys could have reported him to the IBW officials if this guys had a problem he could have they could have made sort of put up another post saying that my previous comments were wrong and I apologize publicly because I do believe that if you're if you're insulting someone in public you should also I apologize in public and not in private so that could have ended the matter or they could have reported him to IBW that this guy is ruining our reputation using our pics without our permission but they had no right to directly go and beat him up there's a lot to learn from here the first thing is the hate culture on the internet has to stop I think as uh, responsible vloggers and other people who have social following I think we should just ban and block these people so that they can no longer have a voice on the internet I think mass action will help in the long run because these guys are just attention seeking people whoever leaves mean comments they want to get replies to it they want to get viral on it uh, they want to get those upvotes when they leave these mean comments on YouTube because they do get a lot of upvotes so I just think that let's end this culture right here let people have lived their own lives and for people who are beating up and think they're getting away with them they should be prosecuted according to the law so that the next year something like this doesn't happen and if there is a something for the IBW people to do that they should just take care and increase security and CCTV cameras on the venue he could have gotten seriously hurt he could have gotten seriously injured I'm just glad nothing went that big Thanks for watching and I really don't care if you share or not. If you're my subscriber, you now know what my take is. See you very, very soon. This is Rahul. Goodbye.